So the countdown has begun. We are absolutely so. If you want to like a really good metaphor, we are we are on where we are strapped into the rocket. The rocket is on the launch pad, and they are beginning to fuel. <laughs> Fuel's being pumped in. I'm trying to find a good metaphor. The countdown has begun. Here's what I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah. And by the way, stick around to the end. I've got a, a something else I want to talk to you about. There's a there's something that you need to be aware of that's that's also going to you know dramatically impact crypto uh, and something you need to know about as well. And I, and I will cover that at the very end. So stick around for that. Okay. So the the countdown I'm talking about is to this date right here, November first and second, and that is when the FOMC, the Federal Open Market Committee, otherwise known as the Fed. The Federal Reserve, the Fed is going to meet to raise interest rate. Yep, you know, this is out there. You're like, oh, no, Austin, but hey, this is what it is, okay? This whole Fed meeting, this bad boy right here where my mouse is moving, or I'm doing this little guy, highlighting this, this is why this number it ain't doing nothing. Ain't ain't doing nothing. I know. That's not good good grammar. That is not good grammar. Yeah, you get my point. That's why it ain't doing anything. That's true. There's ain't. My mom hated that word. I remember ain't. Don't don't say ain't. Okay. Oh, by the way, it's not just it's not just in the crypto market. It is also in the stock market. You can see it. You can feel it if you're paying attention. It is the volatility waiting for the countdown. See how I did that? The countdown to November 1st and 2nd, when we get this notification of what the Fed's going to do. We know, point blank, they're going to raise interest rate. It's going to happen, and it's most likely going to be 75 basis points. A little side note here, this will be the sixth, count them, sixth raise this year. That has never happened. Six in one year. Six raise. Six, six Federal Reserve rate raises has never happened in one year. Seriously. <laughs> Spooky. That is why... The entire crypto market has been decimated with inflation and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so what is the thing I wanted to tell you? The, the, that I remember at the beginning of the video, the thing, hey, like stick around until I tell you this other thing. Here you go. Um, I've been doing some research and there seems to be maybe a little light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So the light at the end of the tunnel could be the fact that there are some proverbial smart people in this proverbial room, you know, who who I kind of look at and, and follow. And and here's the thing. You're always going to get a, a, a narrative and there's always going to be this voice of dissension. And here's what I'm saying. So they're saying that April and May of next year could be when we start to do start to come out of some of this inflation related um, you know, negative situation scenario, meaning we could start to see it easing up by April and May of next year. Okay. Again, it's not me. I'm not making this up. I'm just simply saying I've done some, I continue to every day I sit in the chair and I do research for you guys for And by the way, if you haven't done so with that subscribe button below. Um, and, and because I, I want to keep you updated. So April, May of next year could be when we start to see a little bit of, you know, maybe this thing starts to lessen. We stood, could maybe start to be, be see how a, a bullish kind of movement forward could start to happen, things like that. So April, May. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, there you go. Um, so that was my little hook, if you will, to kind of keep you here just a little bit longer. And as always, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time. I'll see you. Have a good one.